Now, right off the bat, I want to say to whoever is in charge of these releases over at Puma, huge thank you to you, sir or ma'am, for bringing these amazing classics, especially in this level of quality, back to us. Hey guys, welcome back to a Kick Susan's channel. Today we have another gem from Puma's archive, and this is Puma's Prevail. A model that I personally never thought I'm gonna see again being released and maybe they were in the past, maybe they didn't, I did not get any of the previous releases. But this latest one that released last year, I was finally able to chase a pair and grab one for myself because I always loved this model. And just like I mentioned in my previous Puma video, back in the day, all my money, as little as they were, were channeled towards Reebok. And I never had a chance to grab these, but now I'm finally able to. So what is good to mention about this model? I mean, there's so many good things. I don't know how the rest of the companies out there on the market are actually operating, but Puma and Puma Archive and Puma Classics are just bringing immense amount of quality and very accurate representation of what the sneaker was back in the day in the early 90s, 1993 to be precise. I even remember this model having a a disc version incredible model despite the fact it was kind of a step down from the blaze and if you guys remember the blaze in my last video i absolutely love the blaze it had full length trinomic uh, the prevail had it only on the heel but again it offered plenty of comfort and i remember checking one of those pairs uh, from a classmate of mine at school he had them on feet and i wanted to give him a try i put them on just to step in and see how trinomic feels and I thought that this was one of the most comfortable sneakers I checked out back in the day. Now, there's so many good things here. Let's dive in straight into the details. And I'm going to tell you right away what's my favorite part. Obviously, it's the use of genuine leather all around. So anything you see leather on this specific shoe, minus the Puma logo on the both lateral and medial side, everything else is genuine leather, super soft. Not the thickest cuts, but it's super soft, genuine leather. And I'm actually surprised because the original pair did not feature any genuine leather on it. As far as I can remember, it was all synthetics and fabrics. But this retro comes in in genuine leather all around. We're talking about heel. We're talking about toe guard or toe protector, side panels. Everything here is genuine leather and it's amazing. Even the blue hint, this is suede, unexpected. I am very surprised that they were bringing this kind of a level of quality in uh, a model that was not that popular not that popular at least here and less popular than a lot of nike and reebok models and even adidas models uh, we have trinomic logo right on the lateral side of course on the bottom right on top of it where it's protected one thing i really like about the trinomic back in the day you can still see the cells inside and it was protected. So the translucent rubber on top of it was protecting it for you not to step on a nail or like a sharp glass or a rock and pop a cell. So it was some extra layer of protection. The EVA here is extremely soft as well, just like on the Puma Blaze. You put these on feet, they're super comfortable and super enjoyable uh, to walk around with. Produced in October of 2022, released in 2023, like I said, on a year ago, and now these can be had over at eBay in, in almost all sizes for like $50 all around. This is what I paid for these ones, I think 50 or $55. And actually when they arrived and I saw what kind of quality we're talking about here, I went ahead and grabbed right away another pair uh, just because I'm not sure if they're gonna release again and when they're gonna release again, just to have them because they are such an iconic model and they're so, so comfortable and such a high quality made. Uh, I wish that Nike and a lot of Reeboks were made this way, especially the ones with system inside of them, with this kind of a leather that actually never ages. Leather like this can last for such a long time, I've said it many times before. Uh, now the insole here is slightly more simplistic than the Blaze, we're not having the athletic uh, kind of a EVA slash polylite insole. Here we have green autolite, which is also fine because uh, moisture management, odor, all that stuff, uh, which I like, uh, but it's not, you know, anything anatomic or anything sculptured, anything like that. And the padding around the heel is pretty significant as well. We have white laces all around. Uh, the tone is very nice padded with the Puma logo stitched in on top of it. The black ventilated mesh on the toe box is nice. And on the side, both lateral and medial side and kind of around your heel top, uh, this is kind of a neoprene style fabric which i really like as well 
So these very big classic, those of you that are Puma uh, fans, those of you that are my age and grew up back in the day, and you were in high school maybe at that time or maybe middle school, you remember how popular the, these were, uh, especially in Europe. By the way, a lot of soccer clubs for my friends outside of the country, a lot of football clubs, when you were sponsored by Puma, uh, these were the shoes they give you. So if you see a lineup of uh, teams from back in the day for games and stuff like that, maybe uh, for the World Cup or the Euro Cup, you will see those on feet of pretty much everybody uh, that matches this kind of color scheme. Obviously, they did tons of colorways to match the jerseys of uh, those specific countries and clubs and stuff like that. But these were very popular, highly, highly popular uh, shoes at the time. And they're super comfortable. Again, you're going to see them on feet, in my humble opinion. They are some of the most comfortable uh, retros that I had the pleasure to, to step my uh, foot inside. Quality is impeccable, style is great, and if you want to be different, if you want to be standing out, wearing something nicer, something different, something not like everybody else, uh, of the sea of Nikes and Jordans and whatnot, grab yourselves one of those, I'm telling you. You're not gonna regret, it's not gonna break the bank. This is a beautiful classic shoe. Uh, I really like that uh, deboast logo in the heel as well, over the suede, uh, slight, slight hints of purple. Um, yeah, all, all in all, extremely happy with this release and I'm so glad that I saw them and I didn't miss uh, this specific release because this is absolutely iconic. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video, stay tuned to the channel, subscribe if you're new, Check out some of the other videos coming very, very soon. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.